minus q cross q is also path connected. So this is again an another NBHM uh, NBHM question. I mean NBHM interview question. So the you are given uh, q cross q and uh, you are asked to prove that r2 minus a is uh, path connected explicitly. Okay, so now let's take a equal to q cross q and what is uh, r2 minus a? Okay. So, R2 minus A is, uh, uh, if you look at the complement of Q cross Q, that contains set of all X comma Y belongs to R2 such that either X is irrational or Y is irrational. Okay. Either uh, X is, uh, either X or, either X or Y is irrational. So, if both the points are rational, then it will belongs to Q cross Q. So, if one of the point is rational, then it will be in the complement. I mean, if one of the point is uh, irrational, then it will be in the complement. Note that uh, both the points need not be irrational. That is the main point. Okay. So, let's see. You take, a, uh, again, we take two points alpha and beta from the complement of Q cross Q. And we will again construct a path joining alpha and beta in R2 minus A itself. So, I, there are uh, four cases, but it can be reduced to only two cases by a logical argument. So, let us see. So, I assume X1 is, so one of them here is irrational. So, I assume X1 is irrational. Here, one of them is irrational. So, I assume X2 is irrational. Okay, that is the first case. Second, so, this is this is irrational, this is irrational, now we are dealing. Then, this is irrational, this is irrational, we have to deal. Then, this is irrational, this is irrational, we have to deal. Then, this is irrational, this is irrational, we have to deal. But, uh, like, uh, one, so, first we deal with this irrational, this irrational, that case. Then, we deal this irrational, this irrational case. Then, the remaining case, we don't, remaining two cases, we, we don't need to do because we can just replace the role of alpha and beta. Then, the remaining two cases will boil down to first two cases. Okay, so that is a, just a logical trick. You try to understand. I will just do the first two cases. So, first I assume that X1 is irrational and X2 is irrational. Okay. So, it is a point in R2. So, the coordinates are real number. So, I, uh, X1 and X2, they are point in uh, X axis y1 and y2 are points in y axis. So, I have taken x1 here, x2 here for simplicity. So, we know that x1 is irrational and x2 is irrational. Okay. Now, so uh, this is y1 and this is y2. We do not know anything about y1 and y2. They can be rational, they can be irrational, anything. We just know x1 is irrational, x2 is irrational. Now, since x1 is irrational, you look at uh, any I mean, you look at the line passing through x1, okay. So, so, you look at the line passing through x1. In any of this, in uh, on this line, you take any point, its x coordinate will be x1. Therefore, uh, its x coordinate will be always irrational. Therefore, any point in this line will be a point in R2 minus A, okay. In particular, I can look at only this portion. So, this portion, uh, any if you consider any point in this portion, all this point here will have x coordinate x1. Therefore, we will have all these points in the uh, all these points here will be in R2 minus A. And this line is I have I have drawn y equal to root 2. So, y equal to root 2 means here if you take this line. A, a, in any of these uh, points on this line will have y coordinate root 2 okay for example this point is sorry for example this point is 0 comma root 2 okay and this point what is this point this point is x1 comma x1 comma root 2 okay so now we look at uh, this we look at this portion this in this portion all the points will have y coordinate root 2 therefore this portion also will be in r2 minus a now again we assumed x2 is irrational therefore the la line passing through x2 or uh, x equal to x2 line if you consider x equal to x2 line any point on this line will have x coordinate x2 uh, I think sorry I have drawn it uh, 
not clearly so you look at this line okay so in, uh, in this line all the point will have x coordinate x2 but x2 is irrational so all the points in this line have x coordinate irrational so all the points in this line will belongs to r2 minus a okay therefore uh, in this line we look at only this part okay there we get uh, this uh, shaded region from here to here here to here here to here this line seg this uh, this line segment contains no points whose both the coordinates are irrational okay this uh, this path doesn't contain any point of q cross q okay therefore we get a path joining x1 y1 and x2 y2 in r2 minus a okay Similarly, next look at the case uh, uh, x1 is irrational, x2 is irrational. So, in this case, we have to consider uh, y equal to root 2 line also and x equal to root 2 line also. Then we get uh, this is our uh, required path by the same argument. Okay. So, you just uh, see this uh, image then you can understand. So, and other two cases also similarly we can deal. So, even though this R2 minus Q cross Q looks like a lot of dotted line, dot, lots of dots. Q is a lot of dots. Okay. But R2 minus Q cross Q is not lot of dots. For example, inside uh, R2 minus uh, Q cross Q only we constructed this line segment. Okay. So, <coughs> R2 minus Q cross Q even contains many line segments. Okay. Okay. I hope you understand why R2 minus Q cross Q is path connected. And uh, yeah. So, I will meet you with uh, some other problem. Uh, please. Uh, uh, suggest some problem if you want me to do some problems and uh, share the videos with your friends okay have a good day thank you guys